Raymond Carver's short story Cathedral was published in 1981 and details the unique encounter between a pessimistic narrator and his wife's blind friend. Now, much of the critical debate surrounding this piece concerns whether or not this encounter is ultimately redemptive for the narrator or whether it merely perpetuates a negative worldview. Now, we hear the title Cathedral and we can't really escape the religious connotations. So when we read the story, we're surprised to find that not only is it not religious, it's in fact post-religious. And many of the characters are struggling to find meaning in this post-secular world. So it's not a story about religion. It's not even a story about the loss of religion. It's a story about coping with a religious legacy once religion has already been lost. And our narrator, this man sort of entrenched in this nihilistic lifestyle, is our unlikely champion in this quest for meaning. And the catalyst for this quest is when the narrator is sitting down with this blind man and they're watching this program about cathedrals. And he asks him to describe the cathedrals for him. And the narrator tries, but he fails. He can't do it and he claims he can't do it because he's not religious and religion isn't really important to him. So the blind man asks him to draw a picture instead and they'll draw it together and the narrator will close his eyes and they'll both sort of blindly explore this cathedral together. And whilst they're engaged in this enterprise, the blind man insists that our narrator put people into his image of the cathedral. And that's when he says this telling remark, what is a cathedral without people? And this is where I argue that the text becomes unhinged. It's no longer about the narrator. Instead, it's about these broader social and philosophic issues. And this blind man is no longer merely a blind man. He's a blind prophet. And he is bringing these ideas of belief into conflict with the nihilistic nature of the world. And at the end of the story, our narrator is torn between his nihilistic lifestyle and this desire to believe in something. And that idea of something is a word that is repeated often throughout the end of the story. Not necessarily religion, but just wanting to believe in something. And so ultimately, it's not necessarily about whether the narrator finds redemption in the end. The story is about setting up this dialogue between nihilism and belief. Thank you.